Hello everyone and today we're going to be talking about creating SQL Server Docker container and we're going to create a SQL Server Docker container, run the container and be able to execute the commands inside the container and we're going to try and connect to the SQL Server from within the container and also connect to SQL Server from outside the container. So let's get started. So I have started the Docker interactive shell over here and I have Docker Toolbox installed. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, pull the Microsoft uh, SQL Server container image. And to do that, I'm going to run this docker pull command. And this is going to download the container image into the local repository. So once the download has finished, it will extract the entire image and that means the pull of that container is completed. So the next thing we're going to do is run that doctor, Docker image. So in order to run the container, I'm just going to use the Docker run command. And over here, I'm just specifying a strong password for my uh, SQL server. And I'm also having port forwarding so that I can connect to the container image uh, using a forwarded port. And the name of my container is MS SQL server. And that's what I'm going to be using uh, to run all the different operations. So we can see that now the container is running. And if we need to view all the containers, we can use the docker ps command. Minus a option lists all the containers. So this container was created 18 seconds ago. And it shows a status of exited, which means something is not working correctly. So if I need to see what's going on, I can run the docker logs command. And I just need to provide the image name of the container. OK, so now the problem with this container is it actually needs more memory to run. So I'm going to show you how we can increase the memory of our Docker uh, running in Docker toolbox. It's very easy to do. Docker toolbox runs using VirtualBox. So we can start VirtualBox. And we can see that the Docker is actually running in a VirtualBox machine called default. And let me just shut down Docker first. And the next thing I can do is I can go into the settings of VirtualBox and go into system and I can increase the memory from here. So let me take it to 4 gigs. And let's start. So I can either start from here, or I can just run the Docker toolbox. And that will get the virtual machine started. Now the Docker interactive shell is starting again. This time it's going to run uh, using 4 gigs of memory. So the next thing that I can do again is now start the image. So I'm just going to say docker start ms SQL DB. And then the next thing I can do again is look at the running containers, look at, look at all the containers using the docker ps command. And you can see the status is it's up 40, 14 seconds ago. And I can look at the logs again for this docker image. So I would do docker logs ms sql db and then i can actually see the logs from that docker image uh, next thing i'm going to show you is how we can start an interactive shell inside inside that container image so the command that we're going to run is docker exec and then dash it and then the container name and then bash to run the bash shell inside the image and now 
it's actually running a bash shell inside the docker image and this is how the docker image looks from container looks from inside these are all the folders there the next thing we're going to try and do is make a sql server connection to the sql server that's running in this container so in order to do that there's a utility called sql cmd so i'm going to run this command So SQL CMD dash server is localhost because I'm connecting from within the container. Username is SA and the password is the password that I specified when I created the image. So now I'm connected to the SQL server. And I can run a query on the SQL server container. And for example, I can just run a select query and that will list the contents of the database. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how to connect to that Docker image from outside. This is not inside the container. So let's get outside. And in order to, for us to see how we can connect, the easiest way is to run uh, Kitematic. And I can see the container that I created, MS SQL DB. And once I click on that, it will show me how I can actually access that container. So it's available on that IP address on, and on that port. So I, I will make a connection to that. So let me run SQL Server Management Studio. And once it's started, I can make a connection from here. And all I need to do is specify the IP address and the port, and then also specify the password that I use to create the image. And there we go. We have made a connection to the database, which is running on a Docker container. And that's all for this video. And thank you very much for watching.